just uh, starting with some mcqs just when you are having a notebook just mark your answers on paper at the end of it assess yourself how much you already want to know on sarcomas okay all predecessors to soft tissue sarcoma except yes okay MEN type 1, okay. MEN type 1 normally it is not something which disposes to soft tissue sarcomas. You have a lot of other malignancies. Yes. You have your endocrinal tumors, you can have your CNS tumors, but unfortunately, multiple endocrine neoplasia tumors, you do not have any soft tissue sarcomas. Look at what is the sarcoma you get in each one of them. Chronic lymphedema, what is the sarcoma you get? Stuart Truvis syndrome, also known as lymphangiosarcomas, especially in patients who have had treatment for breast cancer. The, uh, the incidences need not necessarily to do with only surgery. Remember that. Patients who have had surgery and lymphedema are not only the ones who are predisposed. They need not have had surgery. They may have large lymph nodal masses, inoperable, have had RT, anything which leads to lymphedema due to blockage of lymphatics by tumor, by the surgeon, by radiation. All of which will lead to lymphedema. They can be predisposed to lymphangiosarcoma. How much time does it take for lymphedema? The mean time is about 15 years. Okay less than 10 years it is unlikely to be due to lymphedema itself it takes at least 10 to 15 years for you to develop a lymphangiosarcoma prior radiation exposure is one of the most important things we will go into detail a little later neurofibromatosis what is the tumor you get neurofibrosarcoma neurofibrosarcoma is a term which is not commonly used mpnst malignant peripheral nerve sheath tumors okay just a few points on etiology of soft tissue sarcomas. Uh, unlike other tumors, genetics plays an important developmental role in soft tissue sarcomas. Two tumor suppressor gen genes are involved, retinoblastoma and P53. Of this, retinoblastoma is unique for soft tissue sarcomas. Osteosarcomas and soft tissue sarcomas, your retinoblastoma gene mutations are important. So, it is important that a patient who is a childhood survivor of retinoblastoma, retinoblastoma presently the cure rates are as high as 97 percent because it is an extremely chemosensitive tumor. So, these patients their lifelong they need to be surveillance uh, under surveillance for soft tissue and bone sarcomas. Uh, genetic predisposition is seen in neurofibromatosis and familial adenomatosis polyposis and how much percentage of neurofibromatosis patients develop tumors only 5 percent. So, malignant peripheral nerve sheath tumors can happen in 5 percent of neurofibromatosis. FAP, what is the tumor you get? Desmoid. Desmoids. Is desmoid a true soft tissue sarcoma? No, it is not a true soft tissue sarcoma. It is an aggressive fibromatosis. It is what we call as an intermediate type of soft tissue tumor. So, soft tissue tumors we classify into three benign, intermediate, and frankly malignant. Okay? The intermediate ones include fibromatosis, desmoids, and all these things. They are potentially a recurrence. These rates locally are high. However, they do not metastasize. Retinoblast, uh, see uh, whether it if you take osteosarcomas and soft tissue sarcomas, it is osteosarcomas which are much more commoner than soft tissue sarcomas. Among soft tissue sarcomas, it is the predisposition is like the histology is like other tumors only. MFH is the most common. Okay. Uh, genetics is important with respect to soft tissue sarcomas. Neurofibromatosis, remember chromosome 17 is the one where the problem is and retinoblastomas chromosome 13 where osteosarcomas are more common than soft tissue sarcomas and leaf romani again the p53 mutation is again going to be in 17 familial adenomatosis polyposis and gardner syndrome both of which you can have desmoid tumors the problem rise with chromosome 5q21 what does this q stand for here okay what does p stand for petit petit is short uh, why is this important is they, they will put it in the exam as an option of 5p21, 5p21. So, these are areas which you would not miss because these are only 4 or 5 numbers that you will need to remember for soft tissue sarcomas. Similarly, in tuberous sclerosis also in Bonvillis disease, the problem is in chromosome 9q34, the tumors that happens are rhabdomyosarcomas and very rarely angiomyolipomas. What is angiomyolipomas? Common site is renal, is it a malignancy or a benign tumor? Benign. It is a benign tumor, it has typical appearance on a, which is the imaging, which is MRI is the one which is 